What's up, Slimy? Evil creatures conquered our base! What? How could that happen? Let me teach those evil bastards a lesson. Hey, Father Savior! Oh my god. How old am I again? Hello everyone, this is Baum and welcome to episode 3 of this Let's Play the Axo Avalon mod. And yeah, as I thought, we can make life crystals out of the hearthstone we found last episode. Which is pretty darn awesome. Can we actually craft them here at one of these crafting stations? Yeah, we can! Nice! Here we go! Two life crystals. Aeon's Eternity. Now, this weapon has been recommended to me like... I don't know, a million times. And I would be pretty stupid if I wouldn't make it then, right? Stamina stone, interesting. A lot of people explain to me how the whole stamina thing and this green bacon icon up here work. And yeah, at this point, a thank you to everyone who helped me out in that regard. We will get into the whole stamina thing once I actually get a stamina stone. A thing that I would like to do is to farm some vultures because they drop an item which leads me to one of the pre-hard mode bosses. But my world unfortunately doesn't seem to have a desert. So I guess we will try to create one. Alright, so I will grab myself a lot of sand blocks from here and create my own desert. What the fuck? What are you doing angler? Leave my desert buddies alone! How rude of you! Woo, thanks for the antli mandible! And we also got Beak, nice! I actually didn't know that the desert monsters like the Vulture and the Antlion can spawn in the ocean biome as well. They probably just need a couple sand blocks to spawn. So now my plans have slightly changed. Instead of creating a whole new desert biome, we are just going to extend the beach here. The blood moon is rising. Now we also have an increased spawn rate. It's farming time! Wait, vultures don't spawn at night? Or are they just not spawning because of the blood moon? Dang it! However, they don't spawn at all at the moment. Which <laughs> really sucks. Hold on a second. Does this mod also contain the bloodshot eye NPC? And with that bloodshot lenses? And with that, the amazing bloodstained helmet? Because that would be awesome. Oh, hello there, Mr. Fallen Hero. I hope you have some great drops ready for me. Yeah, maybe next time. Yay, there are bloodshot eyes. <laughs> awesome. And I'm sure they can drop bloodshot lenses. Well, unfortunately, not this one. <laughs> Okay, new objective for this night. Farm all the bloodshot eyes. Give me your bloodshot lens. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, another one. Sweet, another bloodshot lens. Bloodshot lens number four. That's awesome. Can we maybe get a fifth one before the night ends? Ah, oh, it just turned daytime. Well... We got four bloodshot lenses. I'm going to check the bloodshot lenses at the guide later. Maybe it's enough to craft something. Aw oh, man, the traveling merchant has arrived. Not sure if I'm happy about it or not. Because I want to see what he got, but I also want to continue farming for beets. Ah, uh, fine, you win traveling merchant. I'm on my way. Alright, what do you have to offer me? A Tome Forge? Wait, this is actually a modded item, right? And since it's called Tome Forge, I probably needed to craft tomes. Wow, <laughs> what a coincidence. Does the traveling merchant always have the Tome Forge in his inventory? 
If not, then we are really lucky. Oh wow, we really need the Tome Forge to craft homes. Well, it's not really surprising, I just wanted to make sure. Now I just hope we can actually get up to 20 gold coins. Alright, 20 gold coins. Sweet! So let's buy that Tome Forge. Hello, traveling merchant. Please give me your Tome Forge. Thank you. And BAM! Yeah, we actually can't do anything with it yet. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Bloodshot Lens. Fuck you! The Bloodstained Helmet has made it into this mod as well. Awesome! But unfortunately we need 5 Bloodshot Lenses, which is not so awesome. Because we only got 4. So we will have to wait until the next Blood Moon, I guess. Team Mirror. Teleports you to a team member in multiplayer. Yeah, that sounds pretty awesome. It's a simple but nice idea. Charles wants you as the official EXO Avalon Errant Monkey. What? What? Never! But nice easter egg though. <laughs> Alright, now we need bombs. What for, you might ask? I want to further investigate the contation. And we are going to need these bombs to break through the rocks. Because our current pickaxe can't do so. There has to be something down here. Something similar to the Shadow Orbs of the Corruption or the Hearts of the Crimson. Oh sweet, another life crystal. What is this shiny stuff down there? Is this the Contation or... I have to find out! Oh, I hear a warm NPC. Oh my god, this thing looks awful and creepy. Good job to whoever sprited this. Did it actually drop something? Uh, I don't think so. Usually I go like, hey awesome, we found blah 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 ore. But now I'm just sitting here finding something to talk about while avoiding to pronounce the ore we just found. Whoa, now that looks suspicious. Let me get that life crystal first. Alright, so um, let's break through I guess. That's why I brought a lot of bombs. Whoa, whoa, what the hell is going on on the other side of this wall? That's a lot of bactuses. Alright, don't worry, Slimy will take care of the situation. And we are through. So what is going to await us down here? Well, there is a ton of super annoying monsters, that's for sure. Yay, we finally got a magic mirror. It took me quite some time to actually find one. Well, doesn't matter. I'm happy we got one now. Oh, thank you Undead Miner. I didn't know there was a life crystal down here. Also, I saw an Osmium Slime happily jumping around in the cave right next to us. So, I will slice that guy open and get that delicious ore. Sweet! But I also spotted an iron slime down there. And I might get him as well. What the hell is this down there? That's not just your common underwater build. <laughs> underwater. Yes, of course. Your underwater building. <laughs> Good job, Baum. Good job. This is not like your common underground abandoned mineshaft thingy. This is actually something new added by the mod. And I'm very excited to find out what treasures lie within this building. I'm, I'm getting dizzy now. And my voice. Holy crap. Holy crap. A frozen sofa. Unicorn crossing the Hellos painting. Goblins playing poker. And another frozen sofa. And in the ice chest we find... Ice skates and 74 gold coins! Holy mother of tits! That's a lot. I was expecting the usual ice chest content. And god damn it torches! <laughs> Alright, we are back in this... Contation cavern thing. I don't know, I'm missing a lot of words today. And is it just me or is this cave shaped like a giant ring? Yep. The map is pretty much confirming my assumption. 
And I think that's actually pretty cool. I quite like it. Oh, this is probably the actual entrance. I guess this is supposed to be scratching the surface so you know where you have to go down. Well, my contagion ring of death is about 30 blocks too deep. But I guess that doesn't really matter, because we found our way in here anyway. So yeah, one massive ring of death. And inside that ring I spotted a couple of modded shadow orbs. They probably have a proper name. And I guess these work just like the orbs from the vanilla game. You smash them and get an item out of it. And if you break three of them, well it will probably summon a boss. Yep, and we, we, we got a pea shooter. Really? Really? A pea shooter? Who the hell came up with that name? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here for now. My inventory is just overloaded at the moment. And that's actually a good opportunity to end this episode. And we are going to fight the Contagion boss, which is probably Bacterium Prime, in the next episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me dropping around. And as always, thanks for watching mate. Have a great day and stay up!